Dallas and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here as always. So today we're going to be making this really cute pink bandana top that you can see that I'm wearing. The bandana tops seem to be a trend that is definitely coming back. I think it's a bit of a like 90s, 2000s vibe. We all know that's very in fashion at the moment. So I thought I would make a pattern that you guys can recreate for yourself and then you guys can make this very cute little top and it's got a little backless moment which we love. If you guys do want to see more content from me and more pictures of what the full outfit turns out like you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram and I also have a TikTok account where I've been posting some really fun TikToks. Put that out of the way we can go ahead and jump into today's video. Alrighty guys so we're starting off with this gorgeous bandana four way stretch fabric. You do want to use a stretchy fabric for this. So how I drew my pattern it is 3.5 inches across the top so starting off you just want to draw a 3.5 inch line and then from the start of that line you want to draw a line that is 5 inches down and then what you're going to do from there is from that mark you are going to draw a, another line that is 8 inches across so that's going to give you that top part of your shape and then you're going to draw a line that is 4.5 inches down which is going to give you that side panel there and then all you need to do from there is just draw that nice straight line and then we're going to flip our ruler around and draw the diagonal line that creates the bandana style at the bottom so from there I just drew a line right to the middle and that should give you your pattern and I find it's better to do things on the fold because then they're symmetrical so you're going to need some scissors, a rotary cutter fabric pen and your sewing clips as per usual and you also may need a ruler or something straight to draw with so I'm just putting my pattern onto the fold of the fabric like I said it's just better to do things on the fold because then they're symmetrical so I've cut one out and then I'm just going to repeat that process so now you should have two pieces that look like this and I'm just going to put my pieces together and then what we're going to do is draw the strap channels where we're going to feed them through. So I just drew a little line about 1.5 from the edge of all my um, top and side edges. So I'm just making a little mark there and just making another little mark on the other side. You can draw a line if that makes you feel better. So as you can see here, I've just left that and we're just going to leave those open when we sew all the way around. So what I'm doing here is just clipping all the way around and then we're going to take it to either your sewing machine with a zigzag stitch or here I'm using my serger. So I'm just trimming off all my threads and then you'll be able to see that I have left those little openings where I'm going to feed my straps through. So you can see all the little openings where I'm going to be able to feed those straps through to make it adjustable. So through one of your little openings you just want to flip your whole garment inside the right side out. So just be patient, it does take a little while. We're going to make that come all the way through and then you're going to want to roll your seams so it's really nice and flat. So just make sure all your seams are nicely rolled out. So you should have something that looks like this. And then what you're going to do is take your ruler and your pen and from each opening on either side, so you should have an opening here, we're just going to draw a straight line. So I'm just marking a straight line. Now this is a marker that can come away with water and air. So make sure you're using something that will come off eventually. So drawing all those lines, so that's my line straight across the top and then I've got my lines down either side as well where I'm going to put my straps through. So all you need to do is just do a straight stitch where you've marked all those lines. And moving on to our straps, so you're just going to need a piece to go around your neck. So that's going to be quite a short piece and then you're also going to need a piece that is going to go around your waist so that's going to need to be a little bit longer. You're better off having too much than too little. And then what I'm doing is just sewing those like I always would. So I'm sewing right sides together and just sewing the elastic on top. And you should have something that looks like this. And then what you're going to need to do is just turn your straps right side out. So I'm just going to turn the right side out and then what we're going to do is use our loop turner. And you're just going to use your loop turner to pull the neck piece through. So as you can see, it's coming together. And then you want to put your back piece through like this. So I've fed it through the middle and then you should have like a little circle shape at the bottom. And then you can just tie that off. I always like to just tie a knot on my ends so they're really nice and clean and you don't get any fraying. 
And there we have it. That is your final result. I think it looks so cute and it is a really, really nice shaped top. So this is it on me and I think this just would look amazing with any outfit. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is how the little bandana top turned out. I think this is really cute. I think it would look amazing with like some jeans or anything denim. Um, I paired it with a little matching skirt as to do as like a matching set. But honestly, I think it would look just so nice with like some washed out jeans and some converse. Like it would be a very, very cool hip look. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial and you found it very helpful, then please be sure to leave it a thumbs up because it really supports me and my channel. And of course, if you do want to see more tutorials, get more free patterns from your girl, then you can go ahead and subscribe down below. But I think that's going to be it from me today, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.